Hey guys and welcome back for today's video. Today I'm going to be testing out MUA Makeup. Um, this is a brand that is sold here in the UK. I'm not sure if it's sold in the States in Superdrug. It's called Makeup Academy. I will link the website to Superdrug and where you can get these products in the description box. Essentially I've just tested out a load of their stuff and um, if you want to know what I thought of it and how I achieved this look then keep on watching. Okay, so we're just going to jump straight in. I'm going to start off by using the MUA Skin Define Hydro Foundation. Um, it looks like this, and this is in the shade Natural Beige. I'm just going to put this on with my Real Techniques brush. This looks like a really good match for my skin tone, actually. So that is the foundation. Um, I really love this. It's quite a light coverage, but it's definitely hydrating. And I believe this retailed for three pounds, um, which is absolutely incredible for a foundation. That has worked really, really well. And I think the skin match is quite good um, to the rest of my body. And this is in the shade Natural Beige. Next product I'm gonna go ahead and use is this Cover and Conceal by MUA. And this is in the shade Fair. Um, they didn't have too many shades of this, but we're gonna give it a go okay that is light um, this is really quite light I don't know if I got the right shade but we will use it to highlight um, the face I think let's blend it in not too much coverage on this concealer but that's quite nice because it's not too thick I hate those kind of like cheapy concealers that are super thick um, when you put them under the eyes, this does not feel like that at all. This feels really, really nice and light. And it's giving me quite a nice sort of highlight under the eye, so quite like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with, is this kind of cream contour looking kit. They had quite a few of these and I believe they came in three different shades. I picked up the shade, which I think is just the middle one in the shade Chestnut. Looks like this. I'm gonna go in with this dark color down here and I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna take my contour on, on a brush like this. I'm just gonna get it right on in there. I could even mix in some of the other colour, but I think it might be too light for me because I'm really tanned at the moment. So I'm just gonna draw my contour in. This is so creamy, guys. I don't know how great it's gonna be at blending, but it is so creamy, which is a really good start. And there are not that many really, really cheap contour products available, so I'm really happy that they've jumped on the bandwagon and done something um, which is a contour product for a really good price. Just going to go and blend that in. This is a really nice contour colour actually. I know I'm quite tanned so this is quite dark but there's so many other shades in there which you could use um, and this is the medium palette so they do have a lighter palette than this and a darker one I believe. So they've got quite a lot of shades for the contour which is quite nice. Okay guys, so I really got on well with this. I actually really, really like this palette. I might go and buy all the other shades just so I've got a variety of colours to use, um, depending on my skin tone, summer, winter and things like that. But this is fantastic. Um, I almost think it's not worth going and buying a really high-end cream contour product because this has worked really nicely. I'm definitely gonna be like trying this out for the rest of the month. I think it might end up being one of my permanent staples in my makeup bag. So that is incredible. And I think that retails for £3.50. So absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to go in and set certain areas of my face with this translucent powder. Um, I'm now going to move on to a bit more of a riskier product and try out my eyebrows. Both these brow pencils retail for a pound, which is incredibly affordable and absolutely amazing, really. Um, but I'm not too short about the colour, so I bought two so that I could try and get my perfect colour. Um, this one is in the shade, Bl shade Blonde. It looks a little bit red to me, so I also went ahead and got the brunette, but the brunette looks a little bit dark. So I'm going to kind of mix these two and see what we get. I'm going to start by going in with the blonde. 
I'm really surprised at how creamy this is. It's definitely not like tugging on the skin. I've had brow pencils before where they have like tugged on my skin. So it's nice that this is um, really gentle on the skin. But like I said, I think it is a little bit too red for me. I really like an ashy brow. Um, so I might have to go and change this in a bit. Okay guys, so I've tried my best with the eyebrows, but they're looking a little bit of a state. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. The brow pencils aren't the best. If you've got really dark hair, the brunette one's going to be great for you actually. And it probably will work out quite well. If you're more sort of like red hair or ready tones in your hair, then the blonde is going to work well. But for someone like me who likes, like I always say, ashier toned eyebrows on myself, um, neither of these colours can really work. I tried to sort of mix them together, but it didn't really work out that great. And you can't really get like a faded brow, which I quite like it to start quite light and then get much darker. It's quite difficult to do with pencil, but I cannot really fault them that much as they retail for a pound each. So you know, I'm not having like crazy high hopes, but yeah, I worked with it, I tried it out, hopefully they don't look too horrendous. Guys, I'm just gonna prime my eyes using the Pro Base Eye Primer by MUA. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the most expensive product. This is the most expensive thing that I purchased and it is the um, Elysium, um, I believe that's how you say it, palette by MUA and this retails for six pounds. Still not a fortune, but um, a little bit more pricey than the other palettes. They've got other palettes that retail for, I think it's four pounds or five pounds, but this comes with an eyeliner, so I wanted to try that out for you guys. And it comes with all these absolutely gorgeous colors. I'm gonna start off by taking this like almost white shade and just popping that all over the lid and all the way up to the brow bone. I'm then gonna go in with this shade here and apply that in my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here, um, and this is in Cherub, and I pop that all over the lid. Next thing that I'm going to do is use this gel liner. Um, this is the MUA gel liner and it comes with a little brush which I'm going to use because I want to use everything that essentially they provide us with. And this tiny, tiny little pot of gel liner and I'm going to use this on my eyes. Okay guys, so that's one eye done. This is amazing, like, I, this is working the same as my MAC Black Trank Fluid line. The brush, not so great, I would invest in a better brush, but if you're on the go, this is fine, like, honestly, I've managed to still get a wing with it. Okay guys, I'm now going to go ahead and use the MUA Mega Volume Mascara. This is a new, um, I believe, and it retailed for £3, I want to say. Um, it's reminded me a little bit of the CoverGirl um, Mascara, the wand is, so. Okay guys, so I finally managed to open this bronzer. This is the MUA bronzer in the shade Sunkissed Bronze. Again, this retails for a pound, absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna take this on a Real Techniques brush and try it out. Whoa, this is pigmented. <laughs> Again, similar to the Cream Contour, it's quite an orange toned bronzer, so you wanna be quite careful that you don't put too much on. You definitely couldn't contour with this just because it's not ashy enough. Um, but it's working really nice as a bronzer, I can't fault it. And it's not all got any shimmering or anything, so if you want a completely matte bronzer, this would work out quite well for you, I think. I'm now going to be applying the blush in the shade Lolly, really nice sort of peachy colour. And I've just got it all over my jeans. Pop that on my cheeks and there. I'm now going to go ahead and apply my favourite all-time product. This is the MUA Highlight and guys, I want to get every single one of these. This is in the shade Pink Shimmer and it looks like this but it's amazing. Like it's honestly one of my favourite highlighters. I use it all, all the time. Um, I always take it travelling so this has become one of my favourites. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones. As you can see it does give quite a pinky sort of um, highlight but it's so pretty. I'm now going to move on to lips. I'm going to start by lining my lips with the Caramel Nougat Lip Liner and this also comes with a sharpener on the lid which is so handy. 
and I've just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and use this matte lipstick by MUA and this is in the shade Totally Nude and it looks gorgeous. I probably should have picked more of these up because these are only a pound and they look, the packaging and everything is really, really great for that, so. It is a matte, but it's really hydrating. It's not like sucking the life out of my lips as well. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna link all the products I used below. And if you have any questions on any of the products I used, don't forget to ask me in the comments and I can give you a bit more of a detailed um, opinion of what I think of them. Overall, I think all of MUA's products are definitely up there. For the price, they are such good quality. And that's almost what I meant when I did my Primark video. I didn't mean to bash any products, but I just, what I wanted to say is for the money, there are other things out there that I think work just as well, if not better. And MUA is definitely one of their, those brands. They have such a fantastic line of products. The eyeshadows are great, the highlighters are great. I've gotten really well actually with the foundation, the lip products, everything. And they're such great value. So this is a company that I would highly recommend. I think my makeup turned out quite nice today using their products and I'm definitely gonna incorporate these in future tutorials. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. That way you will be up to date with all the videos that I share here on this channel. I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye guys.